Hey, hi, how you doing? I hope you're doing great. You okay? I hope so, I hope so. I hope you're having a beautiful day, okay? Well, some of y'all, I don't know, people who live in Europe, um, cause it's 12, it's 12 p.m. over here right now. I usually record like in the night, but for some reason, houses look, my house is quiet, okay? No one's really home. It's just, well, just on me and my mom. We're the only two at home, but everybody else is out. Um, <laughs> so this is like the perfect time to record because my house gets very noisy, okay? So it's like, I have to like pick, I have to pick a certain time to record. So sometimes I try to record in the morning, like early in the morning, or sometimes I try to record like in the night where everybody's just relaxing, they in a room, and everybody's chilling. So yeah, and the dog is quiet because usually he be barking my vids. I don't, I don't know if any of y'all even noticed. Sometimes like I have to mute the sound, my background sound, because my dog is always barking. He barks at anything. Anybody that's close to my door, like close to the my front door, he barks. So yeah, strangers, it doesn't matter. Neighbors, it doesn't matter. He barks. <laughs> But anyway, um, yeah, so it gotta be like, what time over there? I'm, I'm assuming it's like, uh, was it 12? So it's gotta be like, what, five over there? Or six? Well, somewhere around, right? Somewhere around there, right? So y'all probably home from work already. But anyway, so this one is uh, the Atlantic Slave Trade. Someone wanted me to react to this um, I'm only doing this this one time because someone had emailed me and asked me to rec um to react to this. I'm letting y'all know. I, I mentioned this in the in in the in the past. I don't take requests through my email. My email is um for business. That's the only reason why. That's the email is for. It's only for business. If you want to put in requests, you could put in requests in the comments. I read comments. Um. Well, not nah, can't be all the comments because so many of y'all. But yeah, that's where I get mostly, um, you know, re the requests. But emails is a no, okay? I'm only letting this slide this one time. Other than that, I'm ignoring any requests through my emails. I'm ignoring it. Sorry. <laughs> but I'll do this last time. That's it. That's it, okay? <laughs> but anyway, I don't know why you want me to react to this. Um, I ain't through a slave. I. It's kind of uneasy for me because I, I get upset. I get really emotional and I get upset sometimes. <laughs> uh, but let, let's just let's get straight to the video. Slavery, the treatment of human beings as property deprived of personal rights, Sad. has occurred in many forms throughout the world. But one institution stands out for both its global scale and its lasting legacy. The Atlantic slave trade, occurring from the late 15th to the mid-19th century and spanning three continents, forcibly brought more than 10 million Africans to the Americas. The impact it would leave affected not only these slaves and their descendants, but the economies and histories of large parts of the world. There had been centuries of contact between Europe and Africa via the Mediterranean. But the Atlantic slave trade began in the late 1400s with Portuguese colonies in West Africa and Spanish settlement of the Americas shortly after. The crops grown in the new colonies, sugarcane, tobacco, and cotton, were labor-intensive, and there were not enough settlers or indentured servants to cultivate all the new land. American natives were enslaved, but many died from new diseases, of while course. others effectively resisted. We know why. And so, to meet the massive demand for labor, the Europeans looked to Africa. African slavery had existed for centuries in various forms. Some slaves were indentured servants, with a limited term and the chance to buy one's freedom. Others were more like European serfs. In some societies, slaves could be part of a master's family, own land, and even rise to positions of power. But when white captains came offering manufactured goods, weapons, and rum for slaves, African kings and merchants had little reason to hesitate. They viewed the people they sold not as fellow Africans, but criminals, debtors, or prisoners of war from rival tribes. By selling them, kings enriched their own realms and strengthened them against neighboring enemies. 
African kingdoms prospered from the slave trade, but meeting the Europeans' massive demand created intense competition. Slavery replaced other criminal sentences, and capturing slaves became a motivation for war rather than its result. To defend themselves from slave raids, neighboring kingdoms needed European firearms, which they also bought with slaves. The slave trade had become an arms race, altering societies and economies across the continent. As for the slaves themselves, they faced unimaginable brutality. After being marched to slave forts on the coast, shaved to prevent lice, and branded, they were loaded onto ships bound for the Americas. About 20% of them would never see land again. Most captains of the day were tight packers, cramming as many men as possible below deck. While the lack of sanitation caused many to die of disease and others were thrown overboard for being sick or as discipline, the captains ensured their profits by cutting off slaves' ears as proof of purchase. Some captives took matters into their own hands. Many inland Africans had never seen whites before and thought them to be cannibals, constantly taking people away and returning for more. Afraid of being eaten or just to avoid further suffering, they committed suicide or starved themselves, believing that in death their souls would return home. Those who survived were completely dehumanized, treated as mere cargo. Women and children were kept above deck and abused by the crew, while the men were made to perform dances in order to keep them exercised and curb rebellion. What happened to those Africans who reached the New World and how the legacy of slavery still affects their descendants today is fairly well known. But what is not often discussed is the effect that the Atlantic slave trade had on Africa's future. Not only did the continent lose tens of millions of its able-bodied population, but because most of the slaves taken were men, the long-term demographic effect was even greater. When the slave trade was finally outlawed in the Americas and Europe, the African kingdoms whose economies it had come to dominate collapsed, leaving them open to conquest and colonization. Damn. And the increased competition and influx of European weapons fueled warfare and instability that continues to this day. The Atlantic slave trade also contributed to the development of racist ideology. Most African slavery had no deeper reason than legal punishment or intertribal warfare, but the Europeans who preached a universal religion and who had long ago outlawed enslaving fellow Christians needed justification for a practice so obviously at odds with their ideals of equality. So they claimed that Africans were biologically inferior and destined to be slaves making great efforts to justify this theory. Thus, slavery in Europe and the Americas acquired a racial basis. Whatever make them sleep at night. <laughs> making it impossible for slaves and their future descendants to attain equal status in society. In all of these ways, the Atlantic slave trade was an injustice on a massive scale, whose impact has continued long after its abolition. Yeah, whatever make them sleep at night. <laughs> So they want to justify from what they did. Because they believe that, you know, certain people are born to be slaves. Of course they're going to say stuff like that. They, they want to feel like, you know what, we're, we're, not doing the, we're not doing anything wrong. We're doing the right thing. <sighs> I usually don't like to react to these type of stuff. I don't know why. I know, I know. I usually try to stay away from this. Uh, I've watched... I've learned so many things about slaves uh, when I was in school, my own personal time. I did my own research, my videos and stuff like that already. So I pretty much uh, learned a lot about the history of um, slaves, basically. So yeah. <laughs> and I never understood as, as humans, it doesn't matter what race you are, as, as a human, I don't understand how somebody could just look at a, another human person who believes just like them and want to use somebody as a slave. Like, how you, I don't say how they sleep at night. But like, like, like he said, you know, that there's some of them believe, they feel like it's in, they, they truly believe that it's in 
slaves gene to be a slave. Like they're they're supposed to be slaves. It's in their it's, they believe it's in their gene. So I guess that's supposed to make them feel feel good at night. You know. So um, yeah. But I, this is this is I don't know why you wanted me to react to this. I, it doesn't tell me much. I mean, I already knew half of these stuff already. You know. So yeah, <laughs> there's nothing really much new about it. Um, but it says what too few textbooks told you. I mean, of course, there's a lot of stuff they don't tell us in the textbook. But like, that's why I said that's why it's important. If you want to learn more about slaves and stuff, it's always important to do your own research. Um, because we only learn about certain things in the book. You know, well, it's, it was school book, I should say, school textbook. They don't teach you everything. They just want to teach you what they want to teach you. But as a grown person, that you're grown, it's best to just learn things on your own. Um, but this is a very interesting story. I love, um, I love how the way he did his videos. Um, very, his voice is very smooth, and I could just listen to him tell stories. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel and uh, check these videos out. And I'll see you, lovely people. Take care and treat each other with respect, y'all. Okay, we're not here forever. Just be nice. Treat each other with respect. And I'll see you, lovely people. Take care of yourself. Be safe. Peace.